KPM. What am I doing here at the beach? Anyway, let's have some fun. What can we do first? Shall we go for a swim? Oh, maybe we can build sand castles. Yeah. <coughs> Hello, Chris. Hello. <laughs> Hi, Mr. Q. Uh, oh my goodness, we are in. We are at the D Day TV studio. Sorry, Mr. Q. I was daydreaming that I was at the beach and I wanted to build some sand castles. Yeah. It's okay. Since I heard that you wanted to build some sand castles, okay. I, I've actually prepared this tub here full of sand. Oh. You want to give it a go? Yay! So we can actually build sand castles here as well. Yeah. Just okay. Put some water around here. All right. And okay. Boom. Wow. You look at that! Wow. Yay! Uh, Mr. Q? Yeah? What is that? What? You mean this? Yeah. Um, to find out more, make sure you stay tuned to the end. Oh, okay. Let's learn together, everyone. Hi everybody! Welcome to Slot Tahap 1 only on DDAT TV KPM. My name is Chris MJ and in today's episode, we are learning Science DLP Tahun 1. And together with me is Mr. Q. Hi Mr. Q. Hi. How are you Mr. Q? I'm good. How are you? I am doing very good and I am excited to learn today's uh, topic here for Science. But before we proceed, I also want to say hello to Teacher Sharifa as our sign language interpreter for today's episode. Hi, Teacher Sharifa. Okay, now the important question I want to ask all of the pupils watching at home. Are you ready to learn signs today? If you're ready, give me a double thumbs up. Yes! Amazing! Good job, everybody. Well, Mr. Q, mm -hmm. without further ado, what are we going to learn in today's episode? Ah, as you see just now, you were playing, you were building sand castles, yeah, right? Yeah, already broke already. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's okay. So, yeah. actually, today, we are going to talk about the different types of soil we have in, on Earth. Ah, so, basically, okay. we have three types of soil. Which three is types. the garden soil, the clay soil, and also the sand. Alright. Okay, let us look at garden soil. So, uh, in front of you, Chris, this is the garden soil. Okay. So, this is the, in front of you, the garden soil and inside of it, you can see that it is slightly black in colour, right? Yeah, right? it's very, it's very dark. Yes, it's black in colour. So, and on top of it, actually this garden soil is suitable for many types of plants and vegetables. Ah, yes. what we, plants do we have here? Ah, we have the basil leaf, we have ferns and also a red oh. flower. Wow, it's so pretty. Look at that. <laughs> yes. Okay. Okay, so, and it is uh, not every plant is suitable for garden soil. I see. Uh, and it also goes the same with the other soils that, uh, that I will introduce later. Okay. So, let us look at the garden soil. So, first of all, I'm going to put some water on, uh, oh, into in the, the soil. soil. Yeah. Okay. So, one, so why, why are we putting water in the soil, Mr. Q? Yes, as you can see, the, the water will just seep right through into the soil, right? Anand? Oh yeah! Huh. The water is already gone. Yes. So, oh. it, does, it doesn't only seep through the soil, but it actually uh, retains the moisture in the soil. Ah, uh, therefore, okay. a lot of plants, they like to be there. Uh, the, it's suitable for the roots and they don't damage the roots. I so, see. the plants grow well there. Okay, because there's a lot of moisture. Yes. Okay. okay. Moving on, we have the clay soil. Ooh. The clay soil in the middle here, okay? okay? The middle is the clay soil. And you, do you know what type of plant is this, Chris? Uh, in, in Malay, we say this is sawa padi. Uh -huh. Is it? Is it? Is it? Yes, yes, paddy, yes. Paddy, paddy, yes. paddy plant? A, yeah, paddy plant, yes, oh, correct. Okay, so okay. this is a paddy plant that I got from Sekinchan. Ooh, from Sekinchan, yes. <laughs> so Sekinchan, they produce a lot of uh, this paddy yes, throughout yeah. the year. Uh, it's famous oh. for it. So the soil, 
uh, that is suitable to plant paddy yeah. is actually the clay soil. Oh, uh, okay. The clay soil is slightly brownish in colour. It looks very muddy, Mr. Q. Yes, because you see, if I put water in it, okay. what happens? Oh, The water will be stagnant on top. Yeah, it's different from the garden soil earlier. Yes, it so because doesn't seep through. Yes, because of this, not many plants can survive well in this type of uh, clay, uh, in ah. this type of soil, it, that because they may damage the root, I see. root of the plant. But it's not for paddy. Paddy uh, is suitable for this type of. Uh, okay. Because, no wonder when we look at paddy fields, we can always see a layer of water yes, over yes, the paddy yes. fields because the, the 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 type of soil, right? Yeah. Let, let us look at the slide here. Huh? Okay. Some, we have some of. Uh, there are also other examples huh, of these um, uh, plants huh, that are suitable to uh, grow on, grow in soil. Huh? We have uh, growing clay. clay. So we have this broccoli. Which okay. is one of my favorite uh, vegetables. vegetables? <laughs> okay. And also potato. These two plants are suitable to grow in uh, clay soil. Ah, okay. And, okay. and also with paddy. Yes, paddy plants. Uh, of course, okay. paddy plants. Okay. Now, moving on to the last one we <gasps> have here. This is sand, which just now you used to build sand, sand castle. castles. Uh, do you see something here, Chris? What is this? Do you, think what, do you know what is this here? Uh, is that a cactus? Yes, it's actually a cactus. So, ah. cactus grow well. Or this over here, yeah? So cactus grow well in sandy soil oh. uh, because sandy soil, it's uh, there are more pores around it. Mm. So if I pour water inside it, you can see, uh, it just float right into it. <gasps> oh no, my sand castle! Yeah. No, but it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> and you wouldn't even notice that it's uh, it's there. Yeah. Just like when you are at the beach, uh, where as a wave sweeps the uh, sweeps through the sand. Yeah. Just in seconds, you will just. Uh, as though it's, it wasn't there. Yeah. And the waves are exactly. going to go through. So, uh, not many plants are suitable to live in right. sandy soil. Is that why we can see cactus a lot in the desert? desert yeah. Not many plants, so not many only plants. cactus. Yeah. Mm. But there are also a few examples that I would like to share here. Okay. Okay, we have the lavender plant. Mm. Lavender plant uh, gives out very nice smells uh, and it gives us, uh, put us in a good mood always. Uh, the lavender, right? It uh, looks very pretty as well. Yes, true. And then we have rosemary. Rosemary is a type of herbs. Okay. So this herb is usually uh, goes well with the meat, uh, meat. Uh, for example, chicken, rosemary chicken. Uh, okay. Oh. Yeah. It makes oh. me feel so hungry right yeah. now. Yeah, <laughs> I'm getting hungry as well. Okay, okay. so th those are the three types of soils. So yes. we have garden, so we have clay and sand. Yeah. Okay, understand. So since you have learned that, yeah? I would like to ask you how many <gasps> types of soil oh. have we learned today? Ah, okay. Well, can you all help me with this question, everyone? We have one, two, three. Three types of soil, Mr. Yes. Q. Is that correct? Yes, yes. correct. Okay. They are the garden soil, the clay soil, and also sand. Mm. Okay, question number two. Name two plants that are suitable to be planted in clay soil. Ah, okay. This is uh, broccoli, broccoli as and well as potato. Is that correct? <laughs> Excellent. Yes! You deserve two stars for that. Two stars! Yeah. All right. Wow. Well, I am having fun here with Mr. Q at our science lesson. But mm. before we proceed any further, is it okay if we take a short break? Yeah, sure. All right. So, my friends watching at home, don't go anywhere, okay? We'll be right back only on Slot Tahap Satu for Science DLP Tahun Satu. KPM. Hi everyone, welcome to Slot Tahap Satu only on Didek TV KPM. And in today's episode, we are learning Science DLP Tahun Satu on our topic of 
Soil together with Mr. Q. Yeah. All right, Mr. Q, what are we going to be learning next? Okay, so now we are going to talk about the con the soil content, the content okay. of the soil. soil so content. just now we learned uh, we learned about the t three types of soil, right? Okay. Okay. So now we're going to see what are the uh, contents of each of the soil. Okay. All right. So, so earlier we learned about garden soil. Mm -hmm. We got clay yeah. as well as sand. Yes. Okay. So now let us uh, learn about this uh, garden soil. Garden soil. So okay. garden soil, the, it consists of sand particles, mm -hmm. small stones, and decaying plants and animals. Decaying plants and animals are plants that already uh, died a long time ago. Right. Uh, so, okay. So they will, they will, how to say, they will sink and, and form a layer on top of the soil. Ah. Uh, okay. Okay, that's for garden soil. Next, we're going to move on to clay soil. Clay, clay soil, soil okay. uh, it's, it is, uh, consists of very fine soil particle. Mm. Okay, for example, I'd like to show you here. All right. Okay, so all these are not stones. Huh? All these are not stones, okay. but actually uh, soil particles that are very fine. That, um, but they are really, how to say, they're grouped together. Ah, uh, okay. okay. These are all for clay soil. Huh? Alright. Okay, then we have, last of all, we have the sand. Sand consists of sand particles. Okay. Okay, sand particles and also small stones. Mm. Okay. But I don't think it's clear if we see it from the... Yeah, <laughs> the from, box, the, right? from this, the box like yeah, this. Okay. Yeah, this bit. Okay, so... Let us do a experiment. Experiment, yeah, investigation. Yes. All right. So first so of all, I like to put on the the gloves. The gloves, yeah. Okay. So we, because I don't know whether there's any harmful. Oh. Uh, okay. Insects. Just to be safe. Yeah, just, just to, be to be safe. safe. So all everyone right. at home, uh, especially students, uh, make sure you have your gloves on if you want to go to the soil. Okay. To, because we don't know whether they have this. What what is it called? The insects. Insects. Or yeah. Ants. It causes rashes and yeah, all that. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so what we have here is the garden soil. Alright. So we're going to put some garden soil here. Okay. Ooh. Okay. Alright, and what are we seeing? Eh? Oh, okay. I okay. see some. I we see, see some, some dead stuff. ends. Yeah. Okay. And then we're going to put up some sand. Sand, okay. Okay. So, Alright. Okay, so Chris, yeah, we're going to do a comparison between the both soils. Okay, all right. So, would you like to uh, use the tweet? Uh, what do you call it? the forcep here? All right. Okay, forcep. You uh, how to say you separate it? For example, we look at the sand soil okay. first. But before that, hmm. maybe I need a magnifying glass. Can I use a magnifying ah, glass? Yes. Ah. Okay. This looks more appropriate. You know, like most, I I get the, more of a scientist vibe. Huh. Yeah. All right. So as we know, sand consists of sand particles and also small stones. Small stones. Okay, so uh, you can s I just remove a small stone. Yeah. We have two small stones and some s and this is the sand. Yes. Is that correct? Yes. Yes. So we have sand and some Oh, there's so many other small stones over here, Mr. Kyo. Yes. So we, as when we go to the beach sometimes we feel that it's very prickly. Right now the lakes. Oh. Uh, okay. Okay. Yeah. Now. So this is sand? Yes. The sand consists con of all this. Uh, sand, sand contents, okay. Yeah, sand contents. So what's next? Next, let's have a look at, uh, you have a look at... Uh, garden to, soil. Yeah, garden soil. Okay, let's so, see. What do we have here? Yeah, so okay. to recap, garden soil, we do have... What is this? This is sand. This okay. is sand. Okay. Yes, this is so sand. And then we should have small stones. Do you have? Do you see any small stones or small or? stones? Uh, yes, over here. Okay, Can you see the good. small stone? Yeah, correct. Okay. Okay, small stones, small stone. and then you should see some decaying, decaying animals. Plants? Oh, de dead animal or decaying animals? Yeah. Do you see that? What is that? Oh, can you see? It's an ant. Uh, oh, and okay, it's a and, and there's and. also a live one over here. Oh, still living, Hi. huh? <laughs> okay, and okay, and then we, we have, have dry. Uh, these twigs. Ah, these are twigs. Can you see the twigs? Ah. And okay. do you see any dry leaves on top there? Dry leaves. Yes, this one. 
Is that dry? Oh no no no, it's not dry. Okay, let's let's find for some dry leaves. Uh, mm, where is the dry leaves? Okay. Okay, okay there's no dry. There's leaves. no dry leaves over here. Ah, oh. here over here. Ah, oh, you do have dry leaves. Okay, there okay. you go. This is the dry leaf. Okay, okay very yeah. good. So now that we have already uh, done the investigation. Yep. Now do you see, uh, on the whiteboard here, you have. I need you to help me to. Fill in the blanks. Oh, okay, okay. So it is the difference between the contents of garden soil and the sand. All right. So you, all you got to do is using this uh, arrow, uh, tick sign yep. to tick on okay. the correct uh, spots. Uh. Okay. So for the first one. So the first one is tweak. garden soil. And garden what did soil. we find in the garden soil? Okay. Did we see twigs? Yes. Twigs, yes, right? Huh? Okay. Twigs. Yes, all right. Then out, out there, this is a twig, yeah. Ah. So that's a twig. Did we see that earlier? Yes. Okay. Yes, this is a tweet. And next, dry leaf. Dry Mr. Q, leaves. can you show us what's a dry leaf? Yeah, okay. this is a dry leaf. So it's not green, it's brown. Okay, yes, we saw the dry leaves earlier. And stone. Yes, stone. Which is the stone stones. Okay, we, we we did see some stones. Okay. Stones. So I'm gonna put a tick here. How about sand particles? Sand particles. Hmm. Did we see this? Yes, we did, right? Okay. Sand particles. Sand particles and let's see, small animals. Small animals. Ah. You saw ants? Yes, we saw ants earlier. Yeah, sometimes so, you can even see snails inside. Ooh, okay. And so, other, other insects uh, as well. Alright, so this is my answer for garden soil and next for sand. Mm -hmm. mm. No, we didn't see any twigs. Yeah, correct. Dry leaf, no. Stones. Yes, we saw some stones earlier. Okay. And sand particles, of course, because it is sand. And there we go. Mr. Q, I finished the table. Very what, good. How did I do? You did very well. But before that, I would like to introduce a oh. bit more here. Okay. So what, what we, have we have here there? is the layers, huh? layers oh. of each uh, soil. For okay. example, here is the garden soil. Garden soil. So garden soil, as you know, it consists of decaying animals mm. and plants. So this part on top here, if you can see there's a, uh, leaves around here. Okay. And then this is the water. Ah. Then the top layer is actually decaying plants, uh, decaying animals. Okay. Okay. And then we have the sand, which is in the this layer, sand. And finally, you see stones ah. on the bottom. So, so and these how, are for garden soil. Garden soil. And how about the, that one? Uh, sand. For sand, you only see sand as well as some uh, tiny stones inside. But okay. for clay soil, it's only very fine soil particles. Ah, okay. Yeah. So we got garden soil, we got sand. Okay, can you see that? So the water is on the top, yeah. and sand is at the bottom. Yes. Yeah. All right, and the next one we have is clay. Yeah, clay. So clay at the bottom. That's all. Clay and just made of very fine ah, soil very particles. Very fine soil particles. Okay, wow, we are having so much fun here, Mr. Q. And mm -hmm. now I understand better on what we can find in different types of soil. But before we proceed any further, we will be taking a short break. Is that okay, Mr. Q? Yes, of course. All right, so our friends watching at home, don't go anywhere. We'll be right back on your slot, Tahap Satu, for Science Town Satu. KPM. Welcome everyone to Science DLP Tahun Satu only on Direct TV KPM. My name is Chris MJ and today I'm here with Mr Q for our topic which is soil. Ah, dan bahasa Melayu kita panggil tanah. Alright, Mr Q, what are we going to do next? I see a lot of things over here, some stones, some small stones. Are we doing another activity? 
Yes, but before that, I would like to share with everyone here to, today uh, the uses of soil. Ah, so soil has okay. many functions actually All and right. it's widely used uh, in construction. Use, uh, yes, yes, yes. Okay. So, for example, this is the first example here. So, they are being, uh, soil oh, yeah, is being used in buildings and construction. So, as you know, glass. Glass is actually made out of sand. Uh, glass is actually made out of sand. And the bricks are actually made out of uh, clay. Clay. Uh, so, okay. uh, humans uh, find a way how to use soil uh, to make it in the, uh, <laughs> make full use of the soil. Yeah. Around us, uh. Okay, this is for the first, uh, what do you call it? First usage uh, for buildings and construction. Next, we have pottery and ceramic. So, besides make, uh, besides uh, what do you call the uh, construction. usage, uh, construction and buildings, right? Yeah. They are also being used to make pottery and ceramic. Ah, for example, bowls. Yes, bowls, vases. Ah, yeah, okay, so okay. They, they just mix the clay and the water together. I see. And then they form the, what do you call they form the, the, the base, shape the, the shape the, of the it, shape of the and then let it dry. I see, uh, okay. Slowly. But actually, it requires more technology than that. Yep. But this is the basic of it, uh, clay okay. and soil. <laughs> I see. Okay, then next we have medicines. Medicine? Why medicines? How? Not, we, don't, we don't actually <laughs> use the soil as the medicine, but okay. there are actually millions of microorganisms uh, like bacteria and fungi, fungi they live in the soil. Uh, and actually, uh, all these bacteria and fungi, we can use it to create antibacterial, ah. uh, antibiotics and all that, like okay. antidepressant. So, wow. the, it's important for, for us to have soil so that all these microorganisms can live in it. Yeah, I uh, see, I see. Okay. Okay. Then next, we have beauty products. Beauty products? Yes. Do we put soil on our face? Yes, or of makeup? course, soil. Oh. So actually, okay. if you can see from the slide here, the foundation. Well, especially for females, right, right. Or they the way to put a foundation to cover up the pores, oh. making them look better. Uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> so that's made out of soil, huh? Yes, made of clay soil. Made of clay soil. Wow. No, actually, it's not only that. For example, they have some other yeah, 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 and yeah. Of course. Yeah. And of course, uh, like for our hair, I think some of us use gel, but some of us use clay. Ah. For the guys, they have, they have clay to give it a wet, uh, yeah. wet matte look, right? They yeah, call it yeah. dry look. Huh? I so see. clay, it's also made of clay. Wow. Okay. I never knew soil had this many uses actually. <laughs> uh, yeah. yeah. Okay, so after saying so many usage, but actually what we're going to do is oh. we're going to do a simple water filter today. Okay. This is also one of the usage of soil. For example, if you are in the, the jungle yeah. and you want to find cl uh, clean water and there's a, but the, the, the water is very milky. Murky. Yeah. For example, this. Uh, what, yeah. I don't uh, think that looks uh, hygienic uh, to drink. Yeah. So I don't think you want to drink this because yeah. I think there's a lot of things inside, a lot of particles yes, as well. Correct. Okay. So what we're gonna do is we're going to create <gasps> a simple water filter. Wow. Like I mentioned earlier. Okay. In the the first session. All right. right. Okay. So let's do it. So what do we have here? This okay. is actually. Fine. Oh no, uh, this is actually sand. sand. Okay. And then we have small stones. Small stones. Then we have stones. stones. And the last one here is fine sand. It's fine sand, yeah. So okay. sand and fine sand, there's a bit difference it's in a, it. It's, it's more fine. Yes, okay. yes, yes. So what is the first step for us to do so this first water off, filter? Yeah, we need a water bottle. Okay. So this water bottle, I just cut oh, it in cut half. It half. Okay. Okay. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take a cloth. Okay. They cover the whole of it. Ah. Okay. You want to give it? You want to? Yeah, sure. Okay. So we cover this. And then you wrap it up. Okay. Okay. Over here. This is this acts as one of the filter layers, right? Mr. Yes. Q? Yes. Yes. Okay. Done. Done. Then next, we want to put this cotton in. Make sure it's uh, inside here. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Cotton layer. So this is the cotton layer. Okay. Now can you, we will can start. You see? Yes. Okay. Okay. And then? Now we would like to start with the finest of all. Which is the finest of all? Finest is the fine sand. Yes, fine sand. So okay. you can use uh, the spoon here. Okay. I'll How much the, do we? I think yes. we take four scoops. One. Okay. Two. So everyone, if you have these <laughs> at home, you can try together. Yes. Some survival skills. Yes, exactly. And four. Okay. okay. We have four. Okay. Good. Now we use. The sand. Sand. It's okay. brown sand over here. Four scoops as well? Yeah. Okay. One. 
and two, three, and four. Okay, let me have a look. Okay, yeah. I think... One okay, more? Yeah, two more scoops. Two more scoops. Okay, one and two. All, All right. right. Okay, now we go to the slight, slightly bigger particles, okay. uh, bigger items. Uh, yeah. We call it the small stone. Small stones first. Yes, yeah, small okay. stones also give you five scoops. Okay, one, two. In fact, you can put even more than that. More? Yeah. yeah. Okay, let's. You just let me know, Mr. Uh, Q, okay. when is enough. All right. Okay. So this is we are creating our very own water filter. Okay, natural water filter. <laughs> yes. Made by nature. Okay. Okay. One more. Two more. Two more. Okay. One and two. Okay. Wow. Look at that. I now, can already see the different layers. Okay. Yes. And now we go with the biggest one. The biggest, the biggest one. So rocks. Okay. Huh? Just pour some rocks inside. Okay. I will take one by one. <laughs> okay. Wow, this is my first time creating my yeah. own water filter. The reason why the bigger rocks are put last is because we want to make sure that the bigger sediments, like the leaves and all that, will be filtered first. Oh, okay, okay. So, so when the water slowly uh, goes seep through all the layers, right. they, they filter off the bigger particles okay. and until the fi finally the smallest particle. All right. So we just put like this, right? Yes. Okay. Okay. Now this, what? Okay. This should work, alright. Okay. <laughs> okay. So now this water this is should work enough. Okay. Okay. Let's now so I just pour it in. Yeah, pour it in. And let's see what comes out. Okay. Is it drinking water? We'll find out. Am I supposed to drink this after this? I don't no, know. No, no, no. 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 Okay. Okay. <laughs> just, okay. Just. And here we go. Ooh. Okay. Well, let's see all right. So. Wow, it's, it's so... The, the filtration is so good. Wait. The is filtration it, is, is so good yet? that it's not even... <laughs> that the water is not even coming out yet because the, I think there's so many particles that we have yeah, put yeah, in. Yeah. Okay. So by right, what is supposed to happen, Mr. Q? You will see clean water. Ah, so something like this? Yes. So you this can, is the one you did earlier, right? Yeah, you can try it over here. Okay. Let's try pouring it here. Okay. Ah, can, can you, you see, see it, everyone? Okay. So although it goes in as a dark chocolate. Wow, it's coming out clean. Yes. Wow. Look at that. Okay. Well, Mr. Q looks like we have come to the end of today's experiment and mm -hmm. today's episode. But before that, how did I do for this lesson, Mr. Q? I think you did very well. You deserve uh, four stars for this. Four stars, yes! And yeah. I also managed to make my own uh, water filter over here. Um, also, where can we get extra materials for today's lesson, Mr. Q? Okay, we can get it from the Delima KPM website. Delima KPM website. Well, with that, uh, uh, pupils and murid murid at home, we have come to the end of today's episode. I want to say thank you very much to teacher Sharifa as our sign language interpreter as well as Mr. Q for this amazing and interactive lesson. And that's all from us. We will see you again only on Direct TV KPM. Bye everyone. Oh, Mr. Q, looks looks like my, my water filter is is